Well, good morning to everyone. Here we are live in the radio studio of the Answers in Genesis Ministry, our offices here at the Creation Museum. And we record in here on a regular basis for the daily radio program, Answers with Ken Ham. It's heard on hundreds and hundreds of stations. How many stations now, Mark? It's, um, it's approaching on a thousand outlets. About a thousand outlets that it's heard on. And so these are all scripted, first of all. We record 65 at a time. We come into the studio here. And I thought I'd just give you an idea of, you know, more behind the scenes, what goes on here at Answers in Genesis. So we'll just record one now. If I make mistakes, I just go back and fix that bit up, and then our audio technician will go back and edit that out, and it'll sound nice and smooth on the radio. And I'll show you the control room here in a moment. But, Mark, how about we do one? Uh, we're continuing on. Actually, we only got through 45 yesterday, and we thought we'd do the other 20 today, uh, as uh, we had some other things to do yesterday. But... We're up to number 46. Right, so and among other things, I'm timing it to make sure that you're finished right at about 47 seconds. So right. I've got 12 seconds left for the card to be done. So it all has to be timed very, very carefully, and Mike will tell me to do it again or take longer or whatever. So there's a lot, lot that goes into all of this, and then I have to make sure I end right on time as well. And sometimes I have to edit on the fly. It depends how long the words are, that sort of thing. So let's see how we go here, Mark. Okay. The heavens declare... This is Ken Ham, President and CEO of the World Class Creation Museum. Here at the Creation Museum, we have a planetarium show called Created Cosmos. Now, it introduces people to just some of the objects in outer space. Our guests usually leave in total awe of how big God is and what an awesome creator we serve. You know, sadly, the heavens are often used as evidence of billions of years of natural processes. Instead of allowing the heavens to declare God's glory as they were created to, Many secularists use them to proclaim atheism. In a recent TV program, one atheist essentially encouraged us to worship the stars who gave us life. All this week, we're going to combat this idea by showing that the heavens really do declare the glory of their all-powerful creator. How was the timing on that one? Fine. Timing fine. was good? Okay, and, and if, I, if it's going over time, Mark will give me a little signal, and that way I know to cut words or edit on the fly or whatever. And so we do them here, and if I make mistakes, which fortunately I didn't that time, uh, our audio technician will, will go back and edit that out. I just redo that little bit. So let me take you on a, a little walk here. Take off my uh, earphones, and uh, let's go out here. We'll go out of the studio, because next door is our control center. So we'll come out uh, into the main part of our Answers in Genesis offices. Just give you a peek around the corner here. You can just see all down there. We have uh, all of our offices, and uh, so we come in here, and today we have our audiovisual technician. This is uh, Tim, and you can see the board that he's using there. Uh, you can see there's my radio program. This up is on it's literally uh, just to the right. Yeah, can you turn it up? Yeah. Here at the Creation Museum, we have a planetarium show called Created Cosmos. So you follow it through on there. That, that's me speaking right there. And then you can edit out anything you need to mm -hmm. edit out, and cut back in and edit out any mistakes that I do and you lay the music bed and then we have mm -hmm. uh, someone who actually voices uh, a, a, a statement for the end direct mm -hmm. into our website and that sort of thing so there we are thought you'd be interested in how we do the daily radio program now heard on about a thousand outlets across the US and in other parts of the world and we're also doing a Spanish version as well we have a different person who does that but the scripts are translated into Spanish and then they're spoke by somebody who knows how to speak Spanish. I don't. I just speak three languages, Australian English, American English, and English English. So they're the only three languages I know. So anyway, have a great day here uh, at the Creation Museum. I'm signing off for now.